doing? This is what she doing, y'all. This is what she doing. This is what she doing. Oh. She, 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 she telling me, she telling me that she loves me. She loves me. And she, but thank you, baby. Thank you, baby. Oh. And said that she sent the same photo. Yo, you telling me you loyal? You telling me you loyal? You telling me you loyal? You're telling me If you guys didn't pay attention there, apparently she actually sent the same picture that she sent to him to somebody else completely, probably saying the exact same caption, and that's why he just flipped out midway. But once again, guys, check your spouse's phone. I don't care if they think you're losing trust. Trust is earned. It's not given. So for some other reason, if you find them being super suspicious, super secretive with their phone, then they broke that trust, and you have a right to go through it, in my opinion, because it's better off than wasting your time finding all of this stuff out later. And after spending so much time with it, then you have to deal with the breakup when you could have just avoided it from the start. I don't see why you wouldn't do that. Because I I slept with a few dudes yeah, in the past in college does not mean you're you going to sit there and the call the wedding off. It was I in college. Right now, you're no, no, no. Right now, college. It was in college. Oh, for the love of God. It was in college. It was in college. You act like you were never curious before. You never messed around with. I'm a good man. Any woman, any woman will want a man like me. Any woman will want a man like me. Like me. So you go ahead and try and try to throw me away. You go ahead and try. You go ahead and try. Like I said. Like I said. Let me tell you something. You will never find another man like me. You will never find another man like me. You're judging me. And that's all right. That's all right. That's all right. For what? Now this one is definitely tricky, I'm not gonna lie. Now like some men, we do care about a woman's past a lot. Her past really judges her entire character, and to some extent, women do as well. Obviously not to the extent that men do, but a huge secret like this, if she wants to call off the wedding, to be honest, it's kind of her decision. No matter how much a man can change, no matter how much they say they're just a different person at that point, your past is your past and you're stuck with that forever. Um, excuse me. Okay, you also have a flat tire. Oh, can you, uh, no, can call you your husband? call your husband. And this is exactly why men just stop approaching women in public. We don't want to seem like we're harassing you when we're actually trying to just help you out. Hey. Oh. Oh. So I can't change that. Toxic that you like. When they tell me to shut up, puts you in your place. <laughs> it's just hot, you know. When he get real jealous, when he see me talking to another boy, he take it out on me, so. Hey, what's something toxic that you like? I like when people don't let me leave. Hey, what's something toxic that you like? <laughs> I like causing a scene in public so I can embarrass you, like. Hey, what's something toxic that you like? I like when my dude, like, yell at me a little bit, like. Hey, what's something toxic that you like? When they're controlling, like, tell me what I can and can't. I found this super weird because a lot of the things they said, a lot of men are actually catching cases for. So just because a woman finds it attractive, I still would recommend not do it. Just let her be toxic all she wants. Don't get involved with these kind of people and definitely don't date them because who knows maybe one day they'll flip the switch and i guess call the police saying all these things that they're actually really attracted to tip of the day when a bar rat asks you for a shot get her a shot of water City boy to be honest, I definitely commend this man for doing this. A lot of people don't. A lot of men definitely get used in the club, and that's usually why I just stay away from it. But if you want to have some fun with it, just give her some water, and she could just buy her own drinks, to be honest. Um, I've already explained what's going on. He's staying here now. He, it, it is what it is. I'm, not, I'm not taking it no child that's not mine that I didn't what know about. You're not taking it no child. We're married. I don't know this little boy. We okay, married, but who, when did this happen? I'm going to get to know him. I'm going to try to tell you he's here now. I don't even know that's that's something I want to do. Why would I want to get to know a child? He 11. That little boy ain't going to listen to me no way. How you know that? We, listen, we've been together for 13 years. Something has went down and I have to get my son. It is what it is. He got to stay here now. You have to accept No, nah, this too soon. I don't think How I can handle soon? this. I don't think that. No, this ain't right. This ain't well, right. You're not right about it. I'm Everything father. ain't right. We've been together 13 years. When, who is your mama, baby? It who is his mama? Who is the, who the mama? It doesn't matter. You need to it does matter. This, matter. this happened when we was together. We had our issues throughout these years. Yeah, but I, I need to know who the mama I never, is. I never told you for a reason, though. What's you know? the reason? You don't because keep you a child from nobody. You didn't want kids. You didn't want nobody with kids. So I didn't want to mess up nothing. But now, 
I have to put, you know what I'm saying? Everything you know, the baby different. 11, we got together 13 yeah, years I mean, ago. It, it so like, what cool. you did with had a cool. baby with somebody else? No, it ain't, it ain't nothing. Now, I'm not going to lie. I obviously feel bad for the child. He's actually right there. And the woman is being so disrespectful towards him. However, you can't fully blame her. She just found that this man was hiding a whole kid the entire time with a whole other woman. She's not going to be, you know, I guess, polite to this other kid either. Even though I feel like she should have been. And they should have had this conversation somewhere else. But yeah, I'm not going to defend this man at all. He's 100% guilty. And he's stooped for doing this 100%. Oh, it's just like that. The boy. Is 11. Listen, we took a break, right? Yeah. All right, then. So things happened, and now he's here. We got the break was only for a week. So you mean to tell me in that week that we took that break that you went and got somebody? Been trying to tell you, but listen, we need to focus. So why didn't you tell me? I'm not taking any no child. I just told you why I didn't tell you. you because I didn't want a child. The boy yeah. is 11. That's not a oh. good. That's not a good excuse. Okay. I don't look, take now that. Now we here. I don't. Okay, and we here, and now you about to be gone. Oh really? What's this? Oh what's very really. Saying? Yeah, we can cut. I mean, I don't want to. So you rather you rather go do a whole divorce than taking my son? This too much for me. How it's too, too soon. It's too much. He's too old. It's too much. Yeah, 11 years old. It's too much. And we 13 years in. And I'm just supposed to bring in some 11 year old Yeah, child. we can work at it. You can be a stepmom, can't you? Like, I'm saying, like, you uh, married. That's what come with it. Now, a lot of people in the comments are actually saying if this man is paying the rent, then he has every single right to bring in a kid that's his or anybody else that he wants to bring inside the house because he's paying the rent. However, once again, in my opinion, if you want to have a good relationship with your woman, you got to be considerate. You got to do things that she wants to do as well, not just you and be selfish. And having a kid right behind her back, I mean, man, there's no there's no nice way around that it's your fault and i'm not really sure what happened after this clip tell you men cannot take what they dish out look at my ipad this is for texting a nigga i texted a nigga this is what my ipad look like big ass hole in the fucking wall rip all my clothes all my clothes that was hung up ripped down took all my shoe box what the fuck my shoes what did my shoes do to you what did my shoes do to you? Why do my shoes have to be thrown on the floor like this? Like, niggas really cannot take what they be dishing out. And it's so sad. Like, this man literally cheated on me so many freaking times. I never touched any of I might have touched him, but I never touched none of his stuff. And you see me text one dude, one freaking dude, and look at my stuff. Look at my stuff. Ain't even worthy. 90% of the stuff that's on this floor, I haven't even fucking worn. Haven't even fucking worn. And look how this man threw my shit all over the place. Threw my shit, smashed my iPad, put a hole in the freaking wall because I texted a nigga. Now, I'll be the first one to say definitely don't touch anybody's property. I don't care if you bought it for them. Don't do it. If it's theirs, it's theirs. And they can just bring all this information to court and pretty much just screw you and you have to pay for all of it again. However, once again, I don't blame them to an extent. Obviously, finding some stuff like this on your girl's iPad or whatever, her phone, it's definitely not a good thing. And once again, guys, check your spouse's stuff, his phone, iPad, computer, whatever it is, because you just don't want to deal with this. You don't want to be surprised like this guy was surprised and end up breaking so much things from your anger issues. So all I'm saying is brace for impact, check the phone, protect the device, and I guess prepare for the worst because this can happen Asian man. any age that could be a daddy is good <laughs> but how old are you i'm 24. okay so what's your number uh i'll give it to you after ideal race i don't know nobody looks at your race so it's all any? about a vibe so any yes minimum height well i'm short as so anyone that's taller than me minimum income i mean at least more than 100. the probability of you finding your ideal man is a 4.6 percent chance well <laughs> let's be real we already found him didn't you want my number earlier Wait. my jaw actually dropped here she is flirting with a whole other dude while she's already married I i'm not sure how women can do this i'm sure there's definitely some men like this as well but like you're on camera do you not care I i'm sick look where's your brain why do you have a Tinder notification going off on your phone? No. Who are you messaging? I'm, I'm not messaging anyone. I, look, we're going to be the key lesson. Stop. Stop. Give me my Stop. It's old. Stop. Come on. Give me the phone. It's not old. Oh, it's chill. Not old. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, Stop. My chill. God. Madison, Stop. chill. I did not want to say anything, but my boy Luke, he said that he match with her why are you just adding to the situation i didn't match with well, because you're room. doing it because i thought he was kidding and now I check it check it but i don't want to check it i want to hear it from you i give me my phone oh, that's oh, that's i'm turning this off no don't leave that off leave it off i don't even know anybody named luke hey luke don't cry don't act innocent chill Stop. out all you've done is fuel the fire it's you're awesome. lucky that we even invited you on this trip and you're just making I, it work I you're know. driving my car i need you to give me the benefit of the doubt Get away from me. There was nothing. Get away from me. Oh my god, get, get away from me. From me. I want to go. I want to drink a f***ing pina colada. You're annoying, dude. Like, I think you need to just take a breather real quick, both of you, because you're ruining the Nick, you're the only person I want to be with. Okay, that's because then why are you on 
on Tinder. The guy in the back is actually making a huge point. I'm actually so glad he started saying some stuff as well because usually people just stay quiet. But yeah, this is my cue to everyone to always check your spouse's phone. You never know what's on there because there could be dating apps, there could be messages, there could be videos. People are so reluctant on checking because they just don't want to seem like they're insecure or like they don't trust them. But if you don't, something like this can really happen. And I guess you're better off checking and dealing with that problem than getting cheated on, in my opinion. Of course. Why am I not surprised? Of course it's not enough for you to work four straight shifts at the hospital, saving lives for 48 hours like a damn hero. No, you gotta come home, cook for me, make sure I'm fed, then go to the gym for two hours and prioritize your own health. What are you doing? It was only 45 minutes. I can't propose twice. The wedding is only three months away, yet not a day goes by where you don't let me remember, oh my God, I should have married this girl yesterday. You know what? Go get in the shower. And when you get out, I'm going to rub your back and rub your feet. Go right now, because if I say it again, you're going to get kissed. Okay. Definitely one of the nicest clips I have ever seen. I had to add a nice clip in there, guys. I'm sorry. We've seen so many bad clips. There are still some really cute clips like these where a woman was working super hard, cleaning the house, taking care of a man, and still working so many hours outside. So to know that there's actually people like this still is super nice. You think like hookup culture is good or bad for people? I think it can be good as long as you're doing it in a constructive way. Yeah. <laughs> bad for your mental health then yeah go do it like as long as you're being safe too like wear protection yeah, like yeah. think about it yeah do you think a woman's body count matters no, no not at all no, it doesn't matter. no. no matter the matter. gender it does not matter what your body count is do you think that a man would want a woman with a high body count or a low body count doesn't matter it doesn't matter and if a man doesn't want a girl with a high body count then he doesn't deserve the girl do you yeah. know what i mean stop it get some help I mean, I would argue that it's if a guy has standards of not wanting a woman with a high body count, then it actually shows more about the man. Then I date a woman. <laughs> I completely disagree with her. There is no reason for a whole phase. There is no reason you got to experiment with that phase at all and then settle down with a man that's just going to accept all that rubbish and garbage that you built up your entire life. People are really saying sometimes it's necessary if you want to, I guess, find out more about yourself and grow that confidence that you've been seeking for after a hard breakup or something. In my opinion, you don't need to do anything physical. And if you need something physical so you can just boost your confidence, there's probably so many other mental problems going on with you in your life. Why you trying to make me look stupid? There's nothing classy about that. And lashing out like that and being distasteful is a way to be and that could not be further for the truth she might be able to get away with it because of who she is but she's teaching that that's a way to act and that's going to be a situation that's going to land that young woman on the street i'm not going to lie i do agree with them to an extent obviously a woman's character and the way she carries herself is super attractive to a man don't get me wrong there are definitely some dudes that would still go for her but majority of men in my opinion feel like a softer and more kinder woman is definitely more appealing it's your one celebrity cheat pass that's that one celebrity that even if you're dating to love your life you still want to have a pass to be able to cheat on him with. oh my god this is so like cringy but like I genuinely don't have one. No. I'm not on. really into celebrities and the love of my life he's like phenomenal oh, so I can't okay. imagine. But what if he gave you a pass if he was like you're cool with sleeping with one celebrity who's it gonna be? I still would because like imagine if I said like I was like you have one you can cheat on me with. Yeah. If he actually cheated on me with someone I'd be yeah. like Yo, I commend this girl so much for this. Once again, she is on camera. She'll probably say the exact same answer even if she wasn't on camera. This is a girl I would definitely trust with my life and probably even marry because some girls think it's super funny and hilarious to, I guess, expose their boyfriends and expose themselves, but it's not. This is what we actually like. Who's the hottest girl on the car? Oh, there's an older girl right here, but she's the hottest girl on the car. All right, well, hey, you won't give him a kiss or not. He's saying the hottest girl on the car. Holy shit, we're, we're about to die. All right, just make it happen and figure it out later. All right, all no, right. I'm not kissing him. She has a husband. <laughs> yeah, I'm married. What the fuck? Wait, why, why is a whole ass dude's arm around you? Because we cool. Yeah, we chilling. Yeah, we chilling. Cheater! <laughs> no way, that's him. Show us the phone. Show all the hubby, hubby. Yo, this husband, if he ever sees this video, needs to pack his bags, leave, get a divorce, because this is absolutely so sad. This is what women usually do on their girls' night outs, and this is exactly why men don't like when their girls go clubbing on their girls' night outs. It's not because we don't trust them, it's because there are actually people like this that exist. Here you go. Look. And she got her jacket on. What the fuck? She put Where her jacket she... on. And she got her... F what the... Who the f... Who is that? See, I told you this bitch cheated. We can't be right behind her. Like, I'm I'm behind. I don't do know, you know who in that car, uh, bro. Don't get mad, bro. You don't know. You don't get. You don't know yet, bro. Let's keep following. Say, Let's keep following. Let's stay keep following. Back a little bit, though. Like she really holding hands with. She, then she ain't even. She know you with a nigga. She, she know you with a bitch. Basically, 
Now, I don't know what's honestly worse, finding out your girlfriend cheating with a guy or cheating with a girl. Inevitably, it's the exact same thing. You're getting cheated on and she likes them more than you. And this is where you just gotta pack your bags and leave. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Now, I'm not really sure what was going on here. People were telling me that this clip is a woman on her bachelorette party, and apparently she is already flirting with another guy she finds at the club. How are you doing this when you know the next day is when you're getting married? Do people just not feel guilty anymore, or were they always like this? She'll sit on my car. Hi. Yeah, no, get the hell off of the car. Like, why do people do that? That's absolutely disrespectful. Yo, my boyfriend just left me on the side of Broadway because I was cheating on him. <laughs> She belongs to the street. There were actually some people that were saying that he should have dropped her off. I don't agree. If she cheated on you, she has no respect for you, so you shouldn't respect her either. Drop her off. Hey, oh, give him a chance. Give him a chance. Oh, give him a chance. Now, I know some people actually have high standards, but this is absolutely insane. I didn't realize it was this high. Men are awful. So you're telling your 13-year-old niece that all men are awful? Well, are you also going to tell her how you prioritize F-boys over handsome, loyal men? And while you're at it, you might as well show her the website you use where all these supposed awful men are putting money in your pocket. You know, maybe instead, you should be teaching your 13-year-old niece that the choices you've made in your own life were awful. Damn, bro. That's tough. I definitely commend this guy for making this video. Obviously, there are some women spending just horrible information saying, oh, every single man is horrible. Even teaching little girls this. Meanwhile, they're doing these kind of things behind the scenes, OnlyFans and these stupid videos. And I don't know how they don't make the correlation that they're the problem. Before you cheat, my brother, she has already cheated. Now, I think you actually meant to say that, you know, women also cheat or she cheated first, but I don't agree with this advice regardless. Very nice today. Thank I just you. wanted to tell Thank you. you. I typically do. It's worth more than you can comprehend. Who the fuck are you, bitch? Uh, so we have 50,000 here. We got 25K here. I mean, this purse is one of a kind. I don't think it's even sold in mass. Pants are about 10 grand. The boots are 12. Yeah. What are yours? I don't know. How much is your hair? Oh! Got him. Are you going to make it seem like you got yourself these things? We already know there's a man behind the scenes, a simp, buying you all of this garbage. So calm yourself and calm your ego because men aren't really impressed by these kind of things. I talked to a guy. You were angling for a serious, committed relationship with him. And he said, I'm willing to be monogamous with you, but you cannot party anymore. Do you pick the guy or do you pick the party? You, like... Honestly, like he should just like let me do my own thing, but also like know like I'm not going to hook up with other people. Stop the cap. <laughs> <laughs> like there's that level of trust. You said in your last relationship you were cheated on, correct? Yes. Do you know the context of how you were cheated on? Did it, was yes. did he cheat on you at a party? Did yes. He, meet the girl at a, <laughs> he met the girl at a party. Yeah. If a woman is unable to give up partying, clubbing, or that lifestyle for you, understand you don't have a woman. You have a girl temporarily that's going to stay with you temporarily until she finds another guy cuter at the club or at these girl nights. Sorry guys, never get a tattoo of anyone, their name, their eyes, their face. I've seen so many horrible videos and guess what? You guys end up getting dumped later on. Now you have this tattoo of this person reminding you of this person for the rest of your life and it's just a big mistake. Marry me if I'm alive. You'll be happy here. How much does he need to make? <laughs> you know what a lot i mean i don't want to say like it's a number attached to it because i go with how people make me feel but i'm not gonna get on here and lie and be like oh my god i want to date a guy that makes less money than me like no i don't like i love chanel like i love to travel i am very luxury i work hard so i can have a luxury life and I, we only upgrading so i mean i'm not gonna put a number on you but like baby i don't want to ever be told no <laughs> hey, bro, come on now, dog. I'm sorry, but there are so many other women that all said the exact same thing. So how do you, how are you different? How are you different than them? Ultimately, you're just a gold digger. And what are you even providing to the table to make yourself separate from all these other women who want the exact same thing? Excuse me, what are you doing? 
I'm taking pictures for Instagram. Who are you trying to look good for? Nobody. I'm trying to show how cute my outfit is, babe. If you want to show somebody how cute your outfit looks, you can show me. How's my outfit? You look sexy. Why are you going to post them on your story? Why not? Stop being a toxic. You're my property. <laughs> oh my okay. God. Okay. Well, that's it, guys. Much watching, guys. The next one. Take care. Peace.